right guys so this is a, another video i'm gonna do demonstrating the parallel actually the perpendicular parking and the backup assistant in this parking lot unfortunately i don't have any spots where i can try the parallel parking so you're gonna avoid that for now uh, for demonstration purposes i'm using a 2020 bmw m850 ix drive grand coupe the car has the executive package it's a fully loaded version which includes the uh, advanced driving assistant and also the traffic jam assist uh, which we will try in the next video after this uh, for those of you guys tuning in for the first time or those of you guys coming back uh, to my channel really appreciate it uh, for watching this video please do like the video subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon for more informative content like this and do comment below of what else you would like to see and as time permits i'll try my best to make those videos or answer those questions for you so let's go ahead and start i'm going to push the car into drive and we're going to go into uh, park assistant so let's drive around let's go to the parking spot guys I'm in beautiful uh, Toronto Ontario Canada so for those guys in the US I don't know if packaging uh, varies uh, but let's try it I think the parking assistant should be the exact same so let's find a spot where the two cars uh, parks and we'll try parking in between those two cars I see a spot already so I'm gonna switch on my park assistant by pushing this P button right here so push that and if you see on the screen it activates park assistance so the steering wheel column gets check mark it's already recognizing parking fog I'm gonna avoid that because I want to park here I'm gonna keep driving slowly close past to this cars again I'll avoid that and I'll pass and there it recognizes a spot and I'm gonna click on that so we're gonna do actually you know it's recognizing parallel parking let's see what it does uh, so I did that and now I'm gonna let the steering wheel go let the brake pedal go let the accelerator go gear shift as well it goes into reverse itself and it indicates that it's moving to the right to park over there so let the car do its thing I think it's gonna do a parallel parking spot uh, but yeah, you can use this on same thing on a street. If there's a parallel parking spot, it will do that for you. This is a good demonstration of how it does. Once it's done, it'll, it'll mush, move it to park itself. And there we go. Let's see, it's gonna get in front, get it close to the car. And it looks like it's complete and it pushes it to park itself. Uh, the P comes on. Uh, handbrake gets pulled, electronic handbrake gets pulled and it shows you when you open your doors how much room you have to get out on either side. It's really cool. Now let's try the perpendicular parking spot. I'm going to back out of this. And we're going to try park in uh, front of these two cars right here. Let's see that. Uh, park assistant, let's activate that. All right, let's drive past these cars and find the spot. Okay, let's try that again. So these two cars in the front, I'm going to ideally try parking in between them. So I'm going to drive slowly past them. And it recognizes a parking spot. I'm going to let this car pass. I'm going to push park assistant and we'll allow the car to park itself. Again, I, all I tapped was on that P. The car takes over, light comes on, tells me that the car is taking over, it indicates, pushes into reverse, and I'm gonna let my foot go off the brake pedal. And there we go, the car is moving. So this part gets really, really scary. I've done it a hundred times, works really, really well, but it gets close to the car behind, so it may freak you out. 
but be confident it does good but again uh, do keep notice that the driver is always responsible these are in the end electronics they could fail once in a while or uh, miscalculate so you look how perfect it is and it parks it and there we go once it parks it says parking vehicle secured pushes into park electronic handbrake comes on and it shows you how much room I have on each side to open my doors that's how cool, easy, and simple it is. Again, thank you guys for watching. This is Samir Omar from BMW Toronto. For your BMW needs, do reach out to me. My contact information is in the description box below. Uh, feel free to comment on what you liked about the video, what else you would like to see. Um, and as time permits, I'll make those videos or I'll comment below. Again, do like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, one thing uh, in this video earlier I forgot, I wanted to do the reverse assistant. So I'm gonna stitch these videos together so you can watch that all in one video. The car also has something called a backup assistant which you can see on the screen right there. So all you do is uh, drive, right? So imagine you're going to the cottage, it's late at night, it's really uh, a, a bad day, um, heavy rains, uh, it's muddy, your car is getting really dirty, camera is getting really dirty, you're at the cottage, you really don't want to sit there, wash your car, clean it. So we're just going to drive, imagine you strolling down and it's a very narrow alleyway, so you're uh, you're squeezing in and maneuvering your way into a parking spot. So let's we're just gonna do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go zigzag. Like imagine me just squeezing into a tight spot, like really slow squeezing in. So the car is now trying to remember my steps forward, and it's gonna help me uh, come out of that spot the exact same way. So imagine I came to my parking spot and I parked my car. I'm gonna push the park button, switch off the engine, go in for the night, have a great night. Next morning, come out. I gotta go grab some groceries or just heading back home, right? So I come back into my car, start the engine, naturally push it into reverse because it's a narrow spot. Push it into reverse, screen pops up. I tap on the backup assistant and now the car has remembered the last 50 meters you came in and it's gonna replicate that. All I'm doing is controlling the speed by the brake pedal. So if you go too fast, it deactivates it. So let's see how it works. Just go slow and steady. And the exact way I drove in, it's driving backwards the same way. Very, very cool features. Again, guys, driver is always responsible. Do watch out for your surroundings. The car is always here to assist. So these are all driver assistant aids. I keep mentioning assistant aids or assist. It's not at all an autonomous driving feature. So simple as that guys, look how cool it is and how easy it is. And once it's done, it ends at 50 meters are done. So it says parking canceled and you're good to go. And guys, again, thank you for watching my video. Please do like the video subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon for more informative content like this and for your bmw needs please do reach out to me my contact information is in the description box below uh, i work for bmw toronto this is samir umar uh, you can google read about me hashtag s-u-m-e-r 416 signing off thank you for watching